Hey everyone, I uh, hope everybody's summer's going great and uh, it's that time again to do another YouTube uh, uh, quick tutorial for you guys. I get uh, this question asked quite a bit uh, in regards to quoting Tiny Grimes lines and it comes to what, what are the positions and patterns. Um, everybody knows that I, I kind of live off of different cage uh, structures when I play and uh, how do I apply that with Tiny Grimes playing? And there, you know, there's different, a lot of uh, uh, different modes and, uh, you know, different uh, quotes kind of use different mechanisms. But as far as patterns go, um, as you know, that four string pattern being off the top four strings, we'll play in the key of B flat because it seems to uh, be the dominant key for most jump blues. So if I'm in the key of B flat, you know, this structure and this grip where I'm leading off my index finger tends to be uh, the uh, the point of reference right here well that's great and if you listen to Tiny's tempo and stuff you know he'll play a line and he'll play uh, for the first three bars he'll play stuff really out of the major scale um, not always but just kind of as a as a as a as a speech pattern so to speak he's in this so you know you go Right there. Now, when he changes, check this out. We'll have this transition to a dominant chord, usually a ninth chord that'll lead into our four chord. Now, of course, that note doesn't exist, so we can't do the transition where we make it like a like a you know it's a it's really a ninth chord, the five in the bass, or it's a five minor. You have the key of B flat. But what we can do is we can transfer to this shape right here using that, that Freddie King uh, ninth chord. So we can go. And that's the way that I make that motion that moves um, you know, down without hitting that fifth string. So if I play a line, you know, if I go. Now what's nice here is that he does use, you know, the ninth chord arpeggios are, are the, uh, the dominant ones that I use. And so, again, to show you, that's the pattern. It's, and that puts me in the position uh, down here. Check out in Frankie and Johnny where it goes, during the uh, break, the four bar break on the one, That's on. I forgot what version of uh, Frankie and Johnny it's on, but it's it's on there. And it gets you in the four. But once I get to this, then my four is going to be both a C structure, and it's also going to be an A structure. And I'm going to play as an A structure nine. And it's going to be right here. So obviously I can't play that. But here's my. So you can see how I got one shift dominant four, and then I can make a back to the one here. So I hope everybody's following me on this. So here's the grips for the one. Three bars in the one. Let's transition to the dominant. Then I'm on the four, C grip four, I can do the same thing for the five, or I can even go even crazy. So that gives me two ninth chord patterns and omitting the fifth string uh, for um, 
my one, four, and my five. You know, here'd be kind of a short etude um, without a backing track. Now I'll do the. I'll try to keep the best time I can. So I'm gonna. Try getting one well I'll try to get this up here now I can do the same thing if I want to start here and hit an E flat I can do that you know and what I do there when I played that is my four four one um, one way you can kind of take a look at this is like we talked about major and minor uh, pentatonics, the major and the minor pen by moving down a minor third and you know, pentatonic wise using the same you know pattern of notes, but it produces the uh, um, you know major major tonalities. I don't think of it like that. I'm just moving between two different shapes. So I have one, one, and if I wanted to, I could go down, take this to here, and play one down there as if I wanted to as well. It's all fair game. My four chord is going to be. My five chord is going to be the same thing. Um, ninth chord, ninth chord, and then back to the one again. So probably stretching out a little beyond the uh, the um, ideas at hand. So let me reel us back in and let's talk about what we want to have here. So we just got to be able to play here. First three bars major, you know, there's add a pentatonic tone in. You see how I made that transition? So slow again, uh, one, two, one, two, three. So hopefully that'll kind of give you some points of reference in going through your uh, Tiny Grimes uh, licks. There was no direct quotes that I played, but I, it's going to be a lot easier to figure out the quotes uh, um, when you see those patterns. And if you want more of that stuff, I have uh, quite a few different subscriptions and uh, lessons on Tiny Grimes. So check out my website, um, TommyHarkenRiderGuitar.com. And um, please post any questions you have in the comments. And uh, I look forward to talking to you all uh, soon, and uh, have a great rest of your summer. Take care. Bye-bye.